All right, YouTube, welcome back. More Forza. Um, I think we're either just gonna do. Let's just do some races. Never mind. I was, I was, I was gonna do some story stuff, but we only have like an hour, an hour and a half. Yo, that that brisky thing isn't working again. Oh, uh, to be fair, Lara ran bored for some reason. Disconnected. There you go, Joseph. It disconnected, and I don't remember how to connect it, so I gotta check that later. So I'll just do it manually tonight. Uh, this looks pretty crap. Let's drive it. Risky so broke, even his alert doesn't work. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, I hope uh, I hope you guys liked that that Minecraft update. Once again, shout out to Ray for the raid and the gifted subs. What a mad lad. And uh, if there's raiders that are left, I know that Ray doesn't play Forza, so if you haven't seen this game yet, uh, it's amazing. I'm not even a car guy, but this game is just nuts. <laughs> Risky. I love that Brisky just finds channels that have nothing but Peepos and, and Pepes and stuff. <laughs> and then he'll sub to have all the emotes. So every time he just comes into the stream with like 20 new Peepos and I love it. Hi, uh, what you up to, man? What's up? By the way. Oh, I landed on a car. Oh, man. Man, I might make myself some more soup before bed, I think. Your boy felt like dookies today, my friends. <laughs> YouTube, what's going on, man? Listen. What I gotta do? YouTube, what's going on, man? Listen. You gotta do the headset mic. Man, it's it's so wild to me <laughs> that someone like Nick Burks has millions and millions of dollars. I can't just get a proper microphone. Bruh. <laughs> he just uses his fucking headset mic. I hate it. Or having that insanely amazing setup, but all you see is his forehead. <laughs> so last time I played this, what was it on the weekend, right? Like Saturday? So we finished up the boards. We finished up the roads. But, uh... We still have, obviously, a lot to do. I need to go hard on this this week. Like I said, I want it done before Halo. And then... Yeah, we'll see. If I could finish this during the week, we'll do some other stuff on the weekend. We'll see, though. But this, this week will probably be mostly this. F? Mental health's been down the toilet. I'm using retail therapy to cope. Unrelated, I got two new hoodies and they're fucking dope. Nice. Well, I hope you get better. How long was that lap? Two minutes? This is a, such a slow race with this car, bro. Also, remember when I said that I was going to do everything in this game? I think I changed my mind, Chad. I think we'll just add, like, what we need for the achievements. And then, um, yeah, we'll see. I'll either move on or maybe I'll, like, work on some stuff off stream before I uninstall it for Halo, but we'll see. Five and out tonight. It's been lit watching the gamers game. Nice. Nice, 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 man. Yeah, I was so close to taking the night off, too, just because I feel awful today, but... 
I'm glad that I just went through with it because it's been a fun time. And again, we had that big ass raid from Ray, which is always super dope. Just a lot of hype and good energy in the chat. This car is so slow, bro. I could literally just outrun this thing. Bowen, what you up to tonight, by the way? What are you playing? Also, chat, man. I was playing uh, Borderlands, like I said. I was playing Tiny Tina. The, uh... I I'm playing it with, like, the easy difficulty turned on because, like... <sighs> I did my normal playthrough, so I'm like, I just want to blast through the completion. And man, that game has some enemies that even on the easy mode and true Vault Hunter mode are gross. Do I do a veteran playthrough of Vanguard, then drop to easy for achievements? Uh, that's what I did. Or you just do your, your normal playthrough and try to get achievements on the way. And then you do it again on Vanguard, uh, on veteran once you know it. Just spun a green pencil dress right next to a legendary car, so living the dream. Nice, dude. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't really feel like doing the story stuff tonight, considering I'm not playing long. Where does the pencil go? Uh, on the paper, to draw the rest of the dress. Pay attention, bro. Let's be the Pidgeot. Kaka! Banger? Hello? It's true, you can't support Activision DDA. Cancelled. Oh, is that the Ray Cox in front of me? Guinness Book of World Records holder? Yeah, I gotta, uh... Mop up the achievements in, in uh, Vanguard as well. Hopefully by... Actually, yeah, I'll, I'll probably have a little bit of time off during the holidays. Hopefully by then I can... Uh, have like the Halo campaign finished, the COD campaign finished. This race is sick so far? Hello? Yo, this game is so crazy, man. Notice Destiny 2 is leaving Game Pass, not gonna lie, I'm considering, but you'll get like 27 gamer score. You don't have 200 hours to get them before they leave 100%. Dude, also, um, I put it in Discord and I think I retweeted it. There's a giveaway on the Bungie store for the, like, limited edition of the Witch's Queen or whatever the fuck it's called. Man, it looks so sick. That ghost looks awesome. Of course, Quebec is excluded because it always is, so, you know, prize in Spanish, but, uh... It's really, really cool. <laughs> I put it in the Champs Discord and Don thought it was a Series X. I thought it was funny. Actually, proportion-wise, it would make more sense that it was like a custom PC. But yeah. I know I wouldn't get much, but it's still worth a play. Nah, it sucks. When, it, when does it leave? Is it leaving in like two weeks or like the end of the month? Usually they leave with like the 15th, right? I mean, you could still knock out the campaign. The campaign, I want to say, is like, what, 10 ish hours? You could still do quite a bit. You just, achievement wise, you won't get shit. But that game is possibly still the best looking and sounding game. Hmm. I mean, this game exists, but I, I don't know. It, Destiny is just like another level. Basically, all I did in Destiny 1, 2. Yeah, okay, so if that's like all the... 
I could probably start on a fresh account and complete it before it left Game Pass. But, um... Yeah, I don't know, man. You, if, if you're just trying to get something like that out of it, I would, I would recommend it. That's where the game I find is really good. It's the playing it for hundreds of hours as a check checklist that I don't like it. But the campaign, some crucible. Yeah, you could get you could get some good times out of it for sure. Uh let's try this danger sign. Danger! The Lord's top chair, the gameplay story is mid, but the end game is where the game shines. They call it the rally I wish I liked the end game. Uh, what was I going for? What was I using again? Oh, yeah. That thing. Oh, yeah, and that. Epic! I would say, if you don't care about end game, it's not even worth playing. But you're full of shit, dog. <laughs> no, I, like I said, I like the the campaigns and stuff enough to that like I I would uh, I would recommend it before these game pass and shit. The big but is that it might delay Halo if I haven't got out of what I wanted out of it by the time. Mm. And that's up to you, man. That I don't know what to say. I'm also speaking of Halo. I'm still debating on what the hell I'm going to stream next week. I mean, again, in theory, if this is done, obviously we have 15 million things we could do in the Binding of Isaac. Oh my god! Holy shit! Failed. I landed totally fine first. Okay, well, go a bit more right. I'm surprised it let me rewind that far, by the way. What the hell? All four weren't on the ground long enough? Yeah, that's super dumb. I think you only need like 320 as well. Okay. Uh, what was I gonna say? Yeah, so. It's. Oh, it's leaving on the 8th? Oh. Yeah, you have like a, uh, a week. I, um, what the hell was I going to say? Sorry, I, I know I, I keep losing track. Like I said, I don't feel good today. I'm all out of it and tired and shit. Um, right. Okay, so Halo comes out Wednesday. And then Game Awards are Thursday. Which sucks. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start the campaign on Friday. Maybe on Wednesday we do multiplayer. Uh, if it's changed, you know, like if it's no, no longer the beta, it's like the full version and we could do like Team Slayer or like there's enough changes to make it feel like it's, you know, different. Because otherwise, obviously, I've played a shitload and it doesn't really change anything. Although, I guess there is a different level of hype, the fact that, like, oh my god, the game is actually out. But I don't know, so, um, I'll probably just start the campaign Friday, because I don't feel like starting it for three hours, getting hype, and then skipping it the next day. But, um, so yeah, I don't know yet what the next week of streams look like, because like I said, I want, I want this finished. I'm not going to bother with the Eliminator or the Seasonal Bullshit. So I want to get to like 920 or whatever it is. And then uninstall it and move on. And then, uh, yeah, we do some Vanguard multiplayer maybe. 
I still want to give it more of a chance. And if I really just don't like Vanguard multiplayer after playing Halo, I'm just going to try to get the completion and uninstall it. And then, uh, yeah. And then, again, there's like 7 million things I could do in Isaac. I still have 15 out of 17 uh, tainted characters to unlock. And I still have not done any runs with Bethany or Jacob and Esau. So I want to do that. So I have 7 bajillion of hours I, I could get out of Isaac. Streaming the Game Awards, just watching. I'm gonna stream it as long as I can. I, I'm, I, I should be able to. It's always, you know, the worry is always music. I remember last year, like an hour before it, Jeff Keighley tweeted, like, you should be fine. And not like, you know, we've taken care of the licensing, you'll be okay. It was just like, I guess we'll just gamble our fucking channels. So hopefully this year there's better communication, but I think what I'm just gonna do is, uh, treat it like E3. Just disable clips and VODs that night. And then we watch the awards and when I click end stream, it all gets nuked. You have to apply to restream it as far as I know. Really? Huh. That's what was said in B's Discord? Interesting. Okay, well then I'm going to have to do that. I guess if I get rejected, then we'll just start Halo. Interesting. Um... I'm checking it out right now. Watch the game wars with the eyes of content creators around the world. Here are some of the confirmed co streamers. The fuck? The first person I see is Mildly Plays, who's in the Champs community. Co-streaming. If you're planning to co-stream the Game Awards, sign up below. By doing so, your stream may be featured on this website. Sign up for YouTube and Facebook with your email or opt in directly by logging in via Twitch. After clicking op opt in, you'll confirm that you want to co stream the event, and if you're using Twitch, you'll be asked to log in via Twitch, and that's it. Once approved, it will be added to the featured stream list below. Oh, maybe that's why, just so that you can. Hold up, I'm just signing up now because obviously I feel like the earlier I do it, the better chance I have. Uh, Twitch, opt in. Is it working? You burned a badge. Allied became a co-streamer. Okay. I think I should be okay. I'm just checking my email if it's got like a confirmation or anything. Nothing yet, but uh, okay. Hopefully we're good. I literally just searched Game Awards co-streaming. And uh, yeah, I saw you put it in Discord as well. Thanks, man. So yeah, if anybody here also streams and is wondering about it, if you're in my Discord, you could do that or uh... Yeah, I literally just searched Game Awards co-streaming. This one we can easily do. I want to fast travel to here and switch my car. Two 
too bad since I would probably take the day off, but that's not even worth it. For what? For game awards? Or Destiny? Or uh, not Destiny, Halo. I assume you mean like you would take the day off work to play the Halo campaign? Oh, it comes out at 12 p.m.? No, I thought you said 12 a.m., like midnight. Weird. That new which is weird. Yeah, it's so weird how, like, games just release at all kinds of times. Right? Sometimes it's at midnight, usually. Sometimes it's 8 p.m. the previous day. Sometimes it's 5 p.m. the day of. Like, I remember the day that I was streaming Binding of Isaac, it came out like 8 p.m. that day. So, usually I go live at 8 and I was like, wait, give me a second to like, buy and install the DLC. Who's that? Very bizarre. See, and now I don't know, like, if I don't hear anything for the next week, if I'm allowed to stream the Game Awards or not. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, the first few years of streaming, I wouldn't bother streaming the Game Awards. And then what happened was that there were literally nobody here. And I was just like, alright, I guess I have no choice. Because I personally de never gave a fuck. But, that being said, watching it with the community is a lot of fun. Watching it alone, I don't care. But watching it with you guys, it's fun to see, you know. People obviously get hyped for different games, different announcements and stuff. And it's just... It's like E3. I, I, I don't think... I mean, I would watch E3 alone just because I would have to know what's going on for streaming, but I don't really care besides watching it with you guys. Otherwise, like, what I used to always do is I would just, like, after work you know, find the article of, like, here's a summary of everything that was announced and, okay, watch the trailers that I want to see. And same thing with the Game Awards. Because especially the fact like, granted, the past few years I've played more of, like, the bigger titles and, like, I don't play every indie anymore because there's just so many and so many are shit. But when, you know, there was like one indie a week and they were bangers. Game Awards didn't really interest me because like my favorite game of the year would be like Rivals of Ether. It wouldn't be COD. So, Game Awards wouldn't even know it existed, you know? But, uh, yeah, no, the past few years it's been a lot of fun to do E3 and uh, Game Awards with you guys. So I'm looking forward to it. I was also one considering on Wednesday doing a stream where we just like do predictions and also just like watch trailers of games that are up for nomination in case like people haven't played them or seen them or whatever. But then I was like, you know what? Fuck it, we're already going to be spending a whole night on it because usually it's three, four hours. So uh, I'm good. E3 was rough until Nintendo. Man, this year's E3 was, yeah. It was the Wholesome Direct was really good, which was funny because I was not expecting to really care. And it was like a last minute decision to do it. And it was one of the highlights. And Nintendo was really good. And not even too, I, I didn't stream it because I wasn't supposed to. I know a lot of people did anyway and nothing came from it. But I was like, you know what? But that type of shit, uh, I, for me, it's just not worth the risk. I'm like, I'm not s risking seven years of killing myself for a 45 minute show. You know? Game Awards this year on some extra bullshit. GG Strive not nominated for soundtrack and Returnal not nominated for game of the year. F. Better than new. Huh? Hey, Restore for- Oh! Come see it in the auto show. We need to have a talk. Finally. Speed trap.
E3 with the Xbox? Oh, uh, yeah, sorry. X the Xbox show was really, really good. True. Uh, yeah, Xbox was, like, phenomenal. I don't remember the show. It was great. It was great. It was, uh, really good announcements. The pacing was pretty much perfect. It was, uh, it was this... Big old banger. Great Slime Rancher 2. Obviously, they showed a little little Halo stuff. They showed Forza. Now oh, there were some bangers. Ah, wah. Easy clap. Slime Rancher 2 looks so good, bro. Yes, that's it. They showed off the Halo multiplayer. Yes. That's what it was. They gave us Cringe Tana. Uh, yeah, I was like, why is he doing Cringe Tana for saying Slime Rancher 2? Slime Rancher rules. <laughs> yeah, I'm very curious to see how, uh,. God, I can't wait for the campaign. That trailer today got me so excited, man. I love how, uh... I checked, like, the comments, you know, and someone's like... Chief is so clunky! And I was like, bro, his, his suit literally weighs a ton. I get that he's, like, super strong and shit, but he's wearing literally, like, a thousand pounds of armor, bro. Give him a break. And I'm the first one to complain about that. That's why I... Games like For Honor and stuff. Um... I don't know. They, for, for me, they're just like too slow and clunky. But I'm like, I get it, it's realistic. But like, it's just boring to me. But then... I see that. I'm like, bro, he... What? What all did you like about the trailer? I loved everything about it, man. Personally. So much is fucking raw. I'm not even into the series, but I got so lit when two got announced. Nice. I just missed it. Fuck. It's because of the little uphill. I probably like have no choice but to get the Sesto for that. But uh, yeah, no, the, the, the Xbox show was a banger. And the Nintendo one, I remember I went into it so pissed that I couldn't co-stream it because I was just like, fucking Nintendo's gotta be Nintendo, like, they're so bullshit. And then I was like mad because I loved the show, and I was like, man, I don't want to like it, I want to be mad at them. It's that little uphill, man, fuck, what did that say, three more? Whatever, we could always come back. Alright, let's do, uh, what is this? What's new? This. So I guess we'll just, uh... Let's do random races like this tonight, and then tomorrow we'll start the, like, stories. Or I guess we could start them tonight. It's not like anybody gives a shit about the lore. And actually, I even have the voices muted. Because I don't want to hear all that cringe shit. <laughs> so I don't know why I'm like, oh, it literally changes nothing. Why am I driving a hearse, bro? Is that say Jur That's Jurassic Park? That's awesome. Awesome. 
So I'm going to more cars to do something or other. This is going to be the slowest race ever. Watch it be like a 10 minute race now. Oh my god. And it's three laps. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Oh, it's Ben. <laughs> Scrawny weakling. What a tag. Code Chris. We have Chris's alt. Once again, Hero of Time, Ocarina of Time. A redundant name, but you know what? It's worthy. Jabberwookie. Why do I keep getting Hero of Time and Jabberwookie? I I don't have them on my friends. Unless they have me on theirs. Because I thought that uh, Dravatars are all people on your friends list. And once again, Chad, shout out to the homie Ray for that raid before, man. What a fella. I might have the Mac. Oh, right, they could be in the Machination. Good call. I got invited to a random Forza club. I was like, bruh. So I left Machination. You know? I had no choice. This is the slowest race I've ever seen. I just remember, chat, I forgot to do a Forza Arcade and buy the Doom Horn. Yo, Dan, with the 18 months, thanks for the year and a half, homie. How you doing? Welcome back. Oh my god, this is gonna be a six minute race. What's up, Morales? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Um, although, wait a minute, wait a minute. I played on the weekend, right? So the season updates on Thursday? I guess I still have time. Doing a Forza Arcade solo is going to be awful, but if I could just get, I think, 10 points, we could get the Doom Horn, which I need. It's the best. As much as this ice cream car is busting. I, of course, choosing this slow ass car, we get this long ass race. <laughs> God damn. Dope track, though. Also, I should stand after this race. I've been really not good about doing that. Past, like, week or two, I've been... ...really slipping. I hate that I put it into my head that after the stream I'm gonna make some more soup because now I'm just feeding soup. I'm like, fuck this force of garbage. Give me that soup, fam. Yo, the shadows were freaking the fuck out of my, uh, Yo, speaking of things freaking out, Chad, if you didn't see, I tweeted a Halo clip from before. It was a game that I was playing, like, right before I started the stream. Um, physics are great sometimes, man. I got meleeed, but my head got stuck in the ceiling, and my body was just dangling. My body and the camera were freaking the fuck out. It was hilarious. It was a short, like, maybe 10-second clip. I put it on Twitter because I was like, yo... <laughs> this is so jank. I mean, soup is good, yeah. How's your Tuesday? Eh, I stayed home. I was feeling like, like shit. I felt like shit yesterday and today, and I just stayed home to rest and eat soup and try to nip it in the bud so I'm not fucked up. But I think I, I think I got like a stomach bug or something. I don't know. But I felt pretty awful the past two days. How about you? <clears throat>
Sorry, man. Whatever. It happens. It was survivable. Should have recorded how badly he team killed me in Halo. Did I team kill you? With the Mongo? Did I? I didn't know that. Did I actually? I did not know that. Sorry, homie. And I'm cracked. And you know this man. Legendary sleepy emote, okay? I mean, it's appropriate. I'm kidding? Oh. Dude, I know you like that one game where I died and so you took my sword and you got 7,000 kills with it. That was fire. Alright, let's stretch the old legs out, man. Let's see, what are we gonna try? Let's try something that isn't a, a rating of like minus 15. No, I need sword kills and I can't get a single one. Fuck. Uh, there's that map, like I said. Uh, I, I don't, I don't know the names of the maps, but you know the one where, where uh, the camo is right in the middle. Why they have to remove Fiesta and not add a different mode? Yeah, that's super weird. I was hoping that it would be like, you know, SWAT or Shoddy Snipers or something, but no, nah, man, just nothing. A whole lot of nada. Chat. After all this time, how much time do I have in this game now? I don't even know. I feel like I keep saying like, oh, I've barely touched it, but realistically at this point I've played quite a bit of this game. Let's see. Good old good old Xbox showing that I've not touched it. Oh, never mind. 25 hours. I mean, 25 hours is a lot. Don't get me wrong. But not for this game. And considering it's been out for like two, three weeks, that's not much. I want... Hold up. I wonder, do I have more time in this or Halo? Also, I want to see what, how much time I have... Oh, God. How much time do I have in this? That's not bad. Not even a hundred hours. Halo Infinite, let's see. 25 hours. Wow. Holy shit, really? There's nothing compared to my Halo time, right? Oh my god, I have 21 hours in Tiny Tina's thing. I literally have as much time as Halo and Forza. Bruh. Yeah, it's so weird. Everything just shows zero gamer score now. I think my MCC time is gross. No, I have achievements. It's just like Xbox is trash. It constantly does this where it shows that I have zero and everything. But I only have like 200 something in Halo. I haven't really looked at the achievements. I've just been playing. Same with like challenges. I only, I only did uh, the challenges really on the weekend. Because I was like, you know what? It's the first week with like an event and this and that. Let's just clear the list. But besides that, I uh... They gave me that? I totally blew that checkpoint. Besides that, I don't really care, but uh... I am gonna look at the Halo Infinite list and actively go for achievements soon. Because obviously it's Halo I want to get as much as I can. Player achievements aren't bad at all. Let's just complete a battle pass and one for a mode not in the game yet. Oof. Yeah, completing a battle pass is kind of brutal. That and the lasso achievements, I don't think I'll be getting. Uh, th uh, that being said, now that they changed it and you get like at least a level a day if you just play six games. Again, I don't plan on playing six games a day because I don't have time, but. I think I'm going to try to at least do one or two, because that's half a level right there. And I hit, what, level 20 today? Although I bought five levels. 
I, honestly, I regret not getting the the version of the battle pass that got you to level 25 right off the jump. I feel like I should have just done that, but it's all good. Actually, now now that I think of it, next time I play, I have an hour of double XP. What the multiplayer? I'm down. What? Keep forgetting about the two times tokens you have. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, they're pretty rare. I need to, I, I, like, I still eat Doritos every now and then, and every now and then I get Monster, I should just switch to Rockstar for now. <laughs> just for the codes. I only have 4k gamer score between all the Halo games combined? Jesus. I feel like I have that much out of Master Chief Collection alone. That being said, the only uh, two completions I have as far as the full, like, legit Halos are, I only have Reach and Five completed. I'd love to complete the whole series, but the amount of time... And also, I'm just not good enough to do legendary, like, fucking legendary librarian. Yeah, okay. Okay. You have 180 in MCC? Oh my god. So have you just never been a Halo guy? What the hell, man? How is that even possible? I feel like you probably get at least 700 gamer score just for turning it on. Uh, Yeah, let's do a story. Why not? The Masters and ODSC suck so bad because of the constant disconnects. Oh yeah, I remember hearing about that. I just don't like Halo. Halo 3 campaign was the most fun I've ever had in a Halo game. That's fair. That, there she is. that campaign fucking so, rules. Uh, so does the multiplayer. So street racers just turned up. Friends of yours. But yeah, if it's no, not, not your friends. thing, it's not your thing. We're not street racers, Jamin. With a born fast racing I society. completed Halo yeah, well, Spartan rich. Assault like three times or whatever, like 361 and PC. You're in my country and now. the Spartan Strike, so throw down on the road. I'm missing oh, one or two oh, achievements, but the game literally crashes after good. every mission. Let's do this. So I, I eventually just got frustrated, but I gotta go back and finish it. There's a story you need to three star the last chapter. Okay. Yeah, I know that there was one of them where uh, you have to three star some shit. Out of my way, Buster. Okay, before you ask, I have no idea what that guy's problem is, and I'm completely innocent. Who is this guy? Uh, it's Tristan. Let me start from the beginning. A few years ago, I went to this midnight meetup in London. Heard it might be cool. Turns out, it was just a spoiled rich kids convention. So you I love how they do this like anybody well, gives yeah, a fuck about Forza race. lore. So you want me to race them and then kill them? So you want me to win them in the, win a race and then put them in the trunk? It's kind of fucked up in it. Dude, I'm so blocked up all of a sudden. God damn! After this race, I'm gonna sit down and also blow my nose. Cause oh lordy. Chat, you ever just blow your nose and then realize that you had all that gunk inside of your head? Isn't that nasty? Just lubing up your brain. Oh, 
just realized that I was... No! Actually, I might be able to get three stars. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You've got skills, Pablo. We just need to get you a real street machine. I'll build a Chilo hot rod from scratch. Uh, don't worry. My father will pay for everything. No need. Come down to street scene. We'll He's saying trunk in a British oh, accent is just curse. What trunk? I don't think so. I'm not going to stoop to. Why is that? Me. Is it not what it's called? Is it like a loo or something? Throw him in a lift. People think I just jumped on the Halo hate. I've never been a fan. <laughs> you, you've been hating it since day one. It's in the boot. I'll boot that, so eh? The Born Smug crew aren't done yet. Call it a boot. Tristan has organized another showdown at the stadium. You what can head fuck? there now. Or, this is weird, but. I got a call from the kid you'll be racing. Says he wants to talk to you. Your choice. But it sounds really, like a it's a car me. boot. Oh, no, y'all some weirdos, dog. Y'all some weirdos. Let me blow my nose, cause goddamn. Played when I was younger because my friends wanted me to play with them. That's fair. People think I'm me, me when I say that. In my opinion, Destiny is better than Halo. No, that's fair. I get you. Black Friday, <laughs> kind of late. No. Oh, right. Uh, Forgeathon. Let's see. Okay, the Doom Horn is still there. Hello? Wait, when did I get... I had I had points? Also, it wasn't doing the preview? What the fuck is going on? What? How did I get those... What? Okay, I, I, as long as I don't have to do the thing. Say Lego. I want to see if your accent is as fucked as Macca's. Lego. Isn't it just that? Raids are the best part of Destiny. Without raids, Halo is a million times better than Halo. See, um, that's the thing is I don't even like. I don't even like raids at all. There you are. I know that it's the best part of Destiny, but I don't like it. I guess also it's just mostly just the fact that it requires so much timing and planning. You say it normally? Yeah. How the hell does he say it? Lego? How, how can you say it differently? It's literally the same, like, in here, it's just Lego. Not the game for me when they remove like six of them. I find the gunplay a Brazilian times better than Destiny. But that's because Destiny is also just a hell of a lot newer. You're comparing it to old ass Halo. Because, um, 100%, dude. I mean, that's the first thing I always say about uh, Destiny is that it's like the best looking and the best feeling game. But Halo Infinite feels so good, and Halo Halo 4 and 5 felt amazing. 5 especially. 5, I was like, I loved the multiplayer because it was solid and the maps were really good until they were only the Forge maps that were just straight hallways. But, um,. The movement and fluidity and shit was so fucking good. But yeah, Infinite just looks and feels amazing now. But 100%, like, that's what, one thing, like, MCC, like, I... I don't go back to the old games because they just don't feel good anymore. Play 3, 4, 5, ODSC, Opinions and Stands, each their own. ODSC fucking sucks. I said it, chat. I remember I was I was finally doing this the the helmet collectibles or whatever, 
I was using Maka's guide, and I took a wrong turn, and it was one of those things where, like, picking up a helmet started the next mission. And I did that by accident instead of picking up the collectible. And I, I just quit. I just was, <laughs> instead of just, like, quitting back to, like, the main menu and continuing the collectibles, I was just like, nah, I'm done for today. I, I even just collectible hunting with a guy, this fucking sucks. In the city that everything looks the same and ugh. New Mombasa, like you just have that visor on so everything is just dark but yellow and uh oh, well, I'm sure you thought ODSC was try. better than four and five, didn't like reach at all. Weird. Most people agree that reach is a banger. But again, if you're not a not a Halo guy, he says Lego. Lego or Le Lego? So I what? I what? <laughs> I I what the fuck? I I am confusion. I am Confucian. This thing go. Have you tried not calling him names? Uh, no. Why would I try that? Got loads more good ones where that came from. Anyway, he's putting up a new racer for you to destroy. Good to see you. The university is trying to improve response times on the speed zones outside oh boy. Guanajuato. And Horizon Street Scene are trying to break them. <laughs> Sounds about right. Let's make sure the speed Reach is my favorite. Yeah, I uh, I don't know honestly, but Reach is to me fucking amazing. At least when it came out, I still really like it. But when it came out, man, oh my god. Yes, we can do it. We've got this. Let's hope your driving is better than your bombs. I called in a favor from Prima Ale. This guy just got in my car. He's shitting on me, bro. I'll stab you in the head. How dare! The disrespect. Probably my favorite too. It was the second game I've played on 360 and I spent so many hours playing it. Yeah, you know what's crazy is even though I have hundreds of hours, like around three to four hundred hours in Rivals of Ether, Enter the Gungeon, and Binding of Isaac, when I was looking at the 20 year anniversary thing at that like Xbox Digital Museum. Reach is still my most played game uh, on Xbox. Like, I have no idea how much I played. Is there still that thing, Chad? I know that they got rid of like the file sharing and whatever for Reach on the Bungie site, but can you still look at your stats? I wonder if I could see how many hours I've actually put into Reach on 360. I enjoy the campaigns, but I never found them earth-shattering or anything. I've always just- I don't know why, but they just click. I, but I always, always just love that alien and futuristic shit. But I always thought the Halo campaigns were awesome. I remember actually the day that 4 came out, uh, I took the day off work and my two buddies were off, so the three of us were playing the campaign, and I remember my folks were out, so I even set up my console to the big TV in the living room and the whole shebang <laughs> and I remember my friends wouldn't shut the fuck up as I was trying to like focus on the game and I got so pissed I whipped my phone into the wall because I just wanted to like punch one of them head in the head and I couldn't obviously that I was just like I needed to physically fuck something up so I just pitched my phone into the wall <laughs> the uh, Halo 1 to 3 campaigns are awesome yeah see like now I find I, I, I can't play one anymore. I find it's awful. But, um... Are very impressive, my friend. Two is dope. Nice Three work. is amazing. One thing is for certain, the I really like the four and five campaigns, though. Keep trying to build a better speed zone. And the street scene raises will keep trying to break them. 
That makes sense. That was kind of sloppy jalopy there. Whatever. Hola, mi amiga. Wait, that's a no number of podiums 57? You need 80, right, for an achievement? At Horizon Street scene. They want you to come down here and settle it. I physically hate the Halo 5 campaign. Most people do. I thought it was a banger. You got here just in time. Uh, I played it uh, at least four or five times. So I did I did my first playthrough on normal, then I did it co-op heroic. Then I did it solo legendary, or I, or no, I did it normal, co-op heroic, that I mopped up everything on easy, and then I was just missing legendary, so I did solo legendary, and then I know I restreamed the whole Halo series a couple of years ago. I did the whole gear series and the whole Halo series. I feel like I'm not supposed to follow the GPS on this one. Not a, no. Can I restart? I'm supposed to just get there fast. I was already at a minute. I have to do it in a minute 15. So I'm supposed to, I guess, just beeline it. Okay. I I assume this is a bad idea with this car. Actually, there's a road right there. Oh, but it's dirt, so it doesn't change anything. Lol. I guess we'll just do this and hope it works. Oh, don't hit the... Uh. Ooh. All right. Easy clap. Best, best, best shortcut in the city. And my efficiency algorithm. That was a lot of fun. This car would be a, street racers a pancake after that. But without GPS technology, there'd be nothing to compare. Well, I'll let you get back to the streets. Adios. God, what a cool I shot. I try not to take sides. That's such a cool shot right there. I, I wish I could get rid of the HUD so I could just take a screenshot of it, but it is what it is. <sighs> okay. Maybe it just wasn't loaded yet or something? Prove your worthiness of Lucha de Carreteras, you must prove yourself to El Campeón. Oh shit, the champion? Uh-oh, stinky. So, there are three phases of training for you. I'll explain the rules and how it works. Any questions? Well, if I'm going to be a luchadora, don't I need a mask? Yes, you do. But you have to earn it first. Pero antes, you must demonstrate a Oh no. 
lucha de carreteras combines el espectáculo Mexican Wrestling con el poder de las carreras de autos. How many of these trees? Oh man, a lot of these trees I can break, but a lot I can't. Uh oh. Good start, man. Just lost a good like six thousand points. Right off the rip. I feel like the best thing to do is just fucking drift. I guess, yeah, just keep drifting. I think I have to bank them too, right? That's gonna count as a fail. Seems impressed, but next you must demonstrate your courage. He's impressed. I got 800 points, and I was supposed to get 10,000 or 100,000 or something. as well as skill. See if you can make it through this one, Valiente. Yeah, I can do that. Unless I don't remember if this is one of those things where there's three things, and if you complete like that one, if I would have got the points, it would have been one star. And then this will be another so you know what I mean? Ramp ahead, keep that speed up. What a drift! Que valiente! Only the brave can score like that. Alright, we're good. We Gucci. Dude, this game is so good, man. Definitely one of the best games of the year. One hundred percent. Is there anybody here that still hasn't played this that plans on it, Chet? I can't recommend it enough. Again, I'm not even like huge into cars, right? Like I, I like racing games, but usually it's more like the F Zero crazy shit, you know? Or like the Mario Kart, just like nonsense. But uh. These are some of the games that I play the least, just like straight up racing games. But yeah, obviously like you, like you guys know I love the Forza Horizon games. Me, it's on my Christmas list. Nice. This is the final test. My husband has been dropped multiple hints that I want a wheel and pedals for my birthday the day before. Well, good luck. I hope that you get both. Or at least if you get the wheels and stuff, if you get a month of game pass. You can, um, can at least do that. You have to sign up to co-stream the Game Awards. I know, it's nonsense, but I just did that before, so hopefully I'm good. I did it while I was streaming because I was just like, you know what, the earlier the better. wrong holy shit yeah hopefully we're good cuz uh it's obviously always fun to watch that with chat but I guess worst case is if I if I get the client or whatever then we just do the halo campaign so it's all gravy win-win but yeah, if we're doing that on uh, on Thursday, I'm just gonna wait till Friday to start the Halo campaign because I don't want to Start it and have to push it off right away. I'd rather just like start Friday and just go ham and then I Don't know how long it's supposed to be because I know it's the biggest campaign yet But I don't know does that mean it's gonna be 10 hours does it mean it's gonna be 30? But 
between Friday, Saturday, Sunday, hopefully we can knock out the main campaign. Okay, that's what I thought. Whoops. You say there's a shortcut? Oh, yeah, there it is. Mm. Actually, drive drove. You actually drive one of these in real life as close as you can get because this is a MK8 Fiesta, but they don't make an RS, only the SD that I have. Self confessed car nerd. Nice. See, I'm the opposite. I have no idea what you just said, but hell yeah. Use the boost to get through it. Bruh. The quality of video audio on stream is chef's kiss. Thank you. I have messed with settings like a fucking madman over the years to get everything looking and sounding as good as I can. At this point, you could only improve with money. <laughs> money and space. Like better mic and shit like that, you know? But yeah, Shizbiel settings. Yeah, we even have a settings emote, exactly. <laughs> Wait, I thought... what? Oh, fuck, I thought I got three stars. Bro, I suck. Sure. Oh, I got a wheel spin? Hold up, hold up. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? Common human whistle? Wow, I... Love it. That's just what I wanted. And the fast travel in this game is gross. Uh, what? Scratch versus stock? Hola. What do you think? I think it's terrible. Very nah, I'm nice. kidding. You're great. Where's the vodka? Oh, I'm taking my time with it. Don't worry, superstar. Sometimes sock tampoco está tan mal. I was, yeah, I was actually going to say the same. I think it's funny they put all that effort into stream quality just to, for me to watch in 480p. Most people watch with their phones, and sometimes I think of that when I do stuff to the pixel, and I'm like, what are you doing? What are you fucking doing? The, I'm going to show you, Brayski. You watch in 480p? Let me show you just how much of a quality freak I am, okay? So, when I was setting up, let's say, this, alright? To make sure that I got everything right, I did print screen, okay? And then, I went into paint, I pasted it, and then I zoomed in, whoops, that, like that, to make sure that this corner was perfectly lined up. Like, I literally did everything, like, to the pixel, bro. And then you watch in 480p. Just be <laughs> OCD. Listen, can't have no amateur shit. There's enough people that have horrible sounding and looking streams. I'm not going to be one of them. <laughs> Let get on bet. Get on board with that sort of OCD. Man, when Eternal made this background for me, I had to redo all my scenes that had a, like a bordered camera because it's wider. It's wider and not as tall, so I had to like resize all the 4x3 scenes, redo with the, like, the Be Right Back, just chatting, all that. Just changing like that one camera took me like hours of resizing everything because I was like, no, 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 everything's gonna be redone and perfect. Just be OCD. Could just be that zoomed-in corner. Oh, I've watched some scuff streams, same. And I mean, I was I was rewatching one of my old streams the other day because I've been streaming a lot of Binding of Isaac, which I started like six and a half years ago, and. uh if you can imagine, the stream quality was much worse. I was still using the Xbox app, and I was using the Kinect as a camera, and I was using my headset mic, but before that I was also using the Kinect as the mic. But to be fair, when I started, it was kind of just like, let's try this out. 
Oh, this is one of those where I was supposed to just like blast to it, huh? Whoops. Uh, oh no, wait, no, there's checkpoint. How the what? How the fuck are you supposed to do this with checkpoints? Eh. The fuck? But yeah, anyways. So, uh, everything looks and sounds like shit compared to now. It's funny because sometimes I look back at stuff and I'm like, it's cool how far the streams come along. And sometimes I watch it, I'm like, I kind of want to delete everything on my YouTube channel that's older than three years old. Because <laughs> it's gross. My daughter's a graphic designer, so I make her do all my graphics and she gets so tilted when I go, can we just move this here and change that color slightly? That will look like shit, mom. We can, can we do it anyway? Oh yeah, it looks like shit, change it back. That's funny. Hey, mi amiga. Guess who has the watch running as well as it did in 1963? It would be really good for some rally driving. We could do that here. <laughs> she if gets so salty. <laughs> skills, we could yeah, do that it makes here. sense. You choose and meet me there. I want to see how the watcher handles Jim Gunner. I was really watching your dying light vods from years ago. Your boys come a long way. Yeah, the vods are terrible, right? <laughs> I remember that was the first time I made somebody a mod. Because, uh, I remember somebody was spamming spoilers, and I didn't have mods at the time. But one of the guys was, uh, nice enough to try to, like, just bury it in chat, and spam chat. Alright. But you know, I put her through college so she could spot me some free graphics occasionally. <laughs> Don't need to pay the artist if you cook them dinner. <laughs> Incredible. Yeah, that's fair. to Mexico in 1954 to race the It looks great. Can I? You bet. I've marked up I could literally push this thing over. I'll be your co-driver. It was weird you talking to people I've never heard of. True, eh? I was actually thinking about that because I was I was watching. Easy left and too easy left. Fuck. What was it? Maybe it was like my first playthrough of Undertale. I don't know, it was something from just a couple of years ago. But it was like the, the 4x3 scene, so chat was on screen, and literally, like, all the names are gone. I was like, holy shit. Whether it was people that got banned or left, or that I gave the boot, or they just were like, oh shit, this is so mean, that type of shit. Oh, I have to stay on the road, okay. It was, uh, it was so weird. There were only a couple of people that still remain, and I was like, man, maybe I am an asshole. But also, the people are assholes too, so... But it was weird. But yeah, I guess that must be weird for you, right? Because it was like... If it's all people that you've never seen in chat, that's so weird. Cause you've been here what five six years but dying light i guess is like right before that yeah i remember there's a dying light stream which is when i stupidly thought that the channel was going to take off it was like at least six seven years ago i did a 24 hour stream and i, I was like at over 200 viewers the whole time and dying light was like popping off I don't even remember how that happened. I just I remember I was playing Battlefield 4. I boarded up my buddy from work because I just wanted to play the campaign. So I started with that. And, uh, hardline was already out, but I remember I had more viewers than the top hardline streamer, and I was like, what the fuck? But that's also back in the day when um, Xbox streams showed up in the store. And I was almost always number one for indies. Like Binding of Isaac, I, I was on the Xbox dashboard and I had over 500 viewers. It was so crazy. Started watching late 2017, but I lurked for ages. Damn, boy. Even at that, late 2017, it's already been at least four years. 
Yeah, Lightspeed's voice lurked for years, it's true. Hola, amiga. It's still weird to me now that he, like, is in voice and shit. He's not actually a bot. He's actually a human. I don't care. Shut up. Alright, let's... 10.50, we'll do one more and then I gotta wrap up, chat. And then, like I said, I think while I get the YouTube upload going, I'm gonna make some more soup so that I hopefully don't feel like complete death tomorrow. Hopefully I don't go into work and have a mountain of shit to do because of today. Oh, that just hit me. I hope I'm not fucked tomorrow. Oh. Okay, let's just get rid of the waypoint. Oh, st stunt point shit? No, I'm good. Sure. I've even seen pictures. It's true. You saw the the leaked tapes, huh? That was an hour of my le life that I'll never get back with the uh, Zoom meeting. Sorry, homie. Sorry, my guy. Yeah. So there's this thing. <gasps> Just wanted to check about it. Get in your motor. I'll tell you on the way. What's on your mind? Do you really not mind it if you lose? Well, I don't love it. I <laughs> I didn't even realize I started. Man, I'm so out of it. All right, let's restart. All right. What's on your mind? You also, what's on my mind? I just remembered something, chat. Shizbeal settings time. Are you ready, chat? I just remembered that because of Minecraft, I got to reset this. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sorry for the interruption. But, uh, yeah, Joe, was that another pointless Zoom meeting? This song is a banger, bro. Just gotta hit him with my area. Just got hit with an EMP, so I can't make the zoom call. I'm not a zoomer. Sorry, homie. Miss me with that bullshit, player. I ain't throwing a race. I'll break your legs. What's up, Sam? How you doing? Got dragged there because a random mom joined and started doing the "Can I talk to the manager?" bullshit. Oof. I only got here with eight minutes left. F and P's, bro. Only winners. <sighs> yeah. Okay, you got Karen. Whoa, why did I spin out? Bro, come on, I stand up for two seconds. Also, Sam, you're banned, by the way, for being a fake fan. <laughs> Sam, I hope you're having a good one, man. Welcome back. Beat Charles or let him win. Okay, well... Chat, if I lose, it's just because I let him win, okay? No, <laughs> I literally can't lose. Hog I'm champ? Bro, I'm gonna smoke this motherfucker, chat. I'm gonna make this guy never race again. <laughs> oh my god, these turns. Chad, is it just me, or when it's this kind of lighting, and we have the red smoke? It feels like it's like post-apocalyptic. I feel like I'm playing like the medium or some shit. Oh yeah? Danny, thanks for the resub. I'll check that properly when I'm uh, done the race, but thank you, man. Welcome back. Appreciate all the resub love tonight, chat. You guys are some epic gamers. Oh, that was a spicy drift, if I say so myself. 
Uh, 13 months. Yo, thanks, man. Already over a year. Man, it's crazy to think that in just a couple of months I'm gonna have to start thinking about a, uh, a five-year alert. We had a couple of 54 months tonight. Oh, well, God damn. So you did your best, Charlie. I'll give you some pointers later. Guess you just spent three hours troubleshooting a new PC build, only to realize the stupid ass forgot to install the RAM. <laughs> oh no. Was it dedicated on top of it? First mission of Vanguard was pretty sick. That's the thing, the Vanguard campaign is like half terrible and half banger. That's what's annoying. It's like, it, I, I finished it thinking it was very meh. Could be worse, Sam. You could just have found out the freezer didn't fully close after you took out your frozen lunch out of it before work this morning. Oh no. No ram at all, or just seated it wrong. No ram. <laughs> so did it like not turn on or what? It looks like in California during fire season. That's crazy. Times it. Fuck it, one more. We're having a good time. Five minutes, bro. There we go. Two minutes. Our new fridge is couplings that. <laughs> I just had a flashback, an old age flashback of cu uh, coupling. No, couplings that force the doors closed so you never accidentally leave them open. Nice. My defense, EVGA didn't put a speaker header on here, so I had zero, zero error codes to work with. It turned on, but it was just a blank screen. Oh, man. Oi. Man, I really need to upgrade my RAM and get another SSD, but, uh, for whatever Hola. reason, the sensor that normally chirps didn't go off. First. Alejandra says a real racer so what, you don't close your freezer, it goes, Good advice. Besides... Weird. Talk to the university into letting us study the beautiful beaches and clear blue Things are cold skies. enough that I don't have to throw out the frozen meat. That's good, at least. That's the worst, man. The Ferrari Portofino will do nicely. This is the trend that goes off if the interior heats up too much. I wonder if ours does. I mean, never had it open that long, but it's all, you know, it's probably too old. I remember I felt so bad. There was a... I, I have almost no sense of smell, right? There was once, was a, quite a while ago at this point, my um, folks kept complaining that something stank. And then finally my mom realized that it was the chest freezer downstairs that was full of like meat and stuff. Basically like, you know, stuff that wouldn't fit in the freezer in the kitchen. Or, you know, buy some stuff in bulk and you know what it is. Um, yeah, the chest freezer just like broke, ay, 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 and so ay. everything in it had gone bad. But not only that, when she cleaned it out, it was obviously fucking disgusting. And she had to, you know, do gloves and throw it all in like big, big garbage bags and it reeked it, whatever. But when she was doing it, she fucking broke her glasses. And she's like one of those people who like can't see without her glasses and shit so it was like if I remember correctly it was enough that she could still wear them but obviously it was just like all of a sudden have to spend a couple hundred bucks on fucking glasses out of nowhere I felt so bad for her I just like came back from work and she just looked like defeated but uh it was brutal man I am still we had a hose the the garbage out and all that like once once it had been picked up because the thing fucking stank and of course it was summer right so it's like throw it in the garbage it stinks they pick it up wash it out after it's been in the heat oh it was fucking vile Nature reserve. Try not to disturb too much sand. <sighs> Such Can beautiful I just... weather it just makes you want to sail away to the horizon and, and I mean fascinating climate data. Fine. I could get lost here too. Maybe some other time. Uh... I can't eat. okay, I still have like twenty seconds. I'm not gonna make it, but 
Whoop. Shit. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Uh, maybe. Can I make this? I know I don't have to three star everything, but obviously I try if I can. This is gonna be a, a close to game. At that point, throw the chest freezer. Oh, we had to. It was broken, anyways. But it was it was just too heavy. Otherwise, if I remember correctly, she was like she bagged everything, took it out, and then. Actually, I don't remember because they obviously have to be li able to lift it. I don't I don't remember how we did it, but yeah, I had to throw out the freezer too. Excelente. That's the East Coast. Very important if you want to compete at Horizon Apex. I have Download more rev.com. Download move to USB but file transfer there profit. There you go. Thomas J can't see without his glasses. Yeah, that was fun. See you soon. Got done watching Pokemon The Rise of Dark Rye for my Pokemon movie marathon. Nice. I don't know what that is, but I hope you enjoyed it, man. And I'm alright, Andy. I feel like shit today, but staying home and catching up on sleep and eating some soup helps. That being said, I'm going to wrap up now and get ready to call it a night. Because I do got to be up at fucking 6.15 because my life is garbage. Alright, let's see what we got. You collected one more car. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Good soup. Why do you... Oh, man. <laughs> Why do you have to fucking ruin it? <laughs> Ugh. Uh, okay, let's see. All these... All these sentences or whatever that I'll literally never use. Oh, 747 out of 1876. Almost, almost there, chat. Almost. Fuck. How many? How many points do I have? Car mastery points. 131. God damn. All right. Fun, fun, fun. So that Minecraft update once again was kind of. It seems really dope, but when you just like check it out real quick, eh. But force is always a banger. That's what we want: is rewards in a racing game. Fucking words. I, I feel bad for the people that have to program that shit. Like, the game is such a banger, right? And the pe like the environmental artists and the car designers and stuff, like, every they must go to home feeling like champions. And then the people that have program the reward phrase must be like, man, fuck my life. <laughs> Sold an 8.1 out of 10 stream. Bro, thank you. All right, let me kill the recording and we'll find somebody to raid.